Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you looking for a product guys to make your car super shiny, to protect the paint and to make cleaning your vehicle guys a piece of cake. Stay with us and we're going to review guys Armor Shield 9 uh, Ceramic Coating by Avon King. It's amazing product guys. We're going to explain how we will apply it and uh, you will see the end results. This Mustang GT will look like uh, practically we spill water on it that's how clean looking and deep shiny we have as well and it makes cleaning a piece of cake now before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you and uh, if you guys need to buy the product armor shield uh, uh, 9 ceramic coating i'll put the link about the company and where you can get it from uh, you can find more information they have amazing videos as well how to do it in addition to that and uh, all that will be shared there so let's go ahead and explain how we're going to apply it on that mustang gt martini right here uh, it's a beautiful car by the way you probably have seen it on the on the build let me show you the interior okay as well so we're going to apply here okay ceramic coating okay get everything going around those heels on plastic on the glass on anything practically guys you can apply it exteriorly wise on the vehicle now uh, we need to start with completely wash car so let's go ahead wash it and we will continue Once the vehicle is washed guys, okay, we need to prepare it, okay, for the ceramic coating. The best way to do that is clay bar. You need to remove all the old wax, sealants, wax, anything like that. So you start clean. The cleaner the vehicle it is, the better that thing is going to work. So we start by using the clay bar, bar kit, California Gold. It's amazing. This is the package that uh, the armor shield uh, comes with. Apply, smile, enjoy. It's uh, actually uh, amazing guys, amazing design i really like it the silver bottle as well it comes with a microfiber towel right here uh, that's the only thing that you practically need uh, we're going to talk how to use it but we're going to use a few more here at the garage uh, this is the sponge when you use it okay uh, you need to apply okay the microfiber coat on the soft side of the sponge and the wall needs to face up uh, this is a few okay microfiber coats right here that we're going to use and you actually have a decal and gloves guys safety first always use gloves when you work with uh, chemicals anything like that uh, always take my advice this is the step-by-step -step instructions let's go ahead open it here okay and i want to show you what it has it says how to uh, uh, how to actually apply it first step wash clay bar polish ipa wipe isopropyl alcohol then wash uh, this is the simple method and ipa wipe isopropyl alcohol and then apply and it talks about application as well so we're going to go ahead clay bar it uh, if you want to see the specific video about clay barring we have the video on the channel that's going to teach you guys but practically uh, you spray the lubricant you get the clay bar and you go okay uh, kind of like applying the ceramic coating you go uh, horizontally vertically as well do not go in circle guys do not go in circle clay barring most of the times you just go okay horizontally and vertically as well and uh, once the paint feels kind of clean you don't have residue okay uh, nothing is sticking and uh, you can easily guys okay distinguish that if i get close listen now do you hear that uh, noise when i move my hand listen again now let me go ahead okay we're going to go to this side here and uh, once we wipe it i want to show you how smooth it will be and practically you will have absolutely guys okay absolutely zero 
uh, zero noise from it because the paint will be so smooth that, that that you will not hear anything. All you have to do get a microfiber towel, wipe that area, and I want to go again and show you okay the uh, before that we had there and the after okay on this side here. So let's just wipe it. This is this will be the first step. Turn the towel on the other side, wipe it again, let it dry a little bit. We're still waiting a couple of seconds. Okay, check it out. Practically, right now, it's dry. Listen now. Almost nothing. It feels like butter smooth. So we'll do that to the whole car and we'll continue. So, as you can see guys, we finished the clay bar. The car looks amazing. I'm not kidding. You can see how smooth it is, how shiny, how deeply clean that paint is. It's simply amazing. It's butter smooth absolutely zero noise when i put my fingers and always put gloves you don't want to have finger paints as well so you can get ipa wipes or uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, that's a pharmacy grade alcohol on a microfiber towel works as well we've done that as well if you don't have the wipes and clean the car whole vehicle guys windshields everything uh, really good so uh, that actually ceramic coating will bond really good with the paint and uh, you need to make sure that everything's completely dry dust free and do it out of the sunshine okay don't do it in the sunshine because it, things will not work out as as they should so cleaning the wheels now guys uh, if you have a little bit of residue left from the uh, uh, from the alcohol get a mi clean microfiber towel and do it uh, at the end again before we apply the coating but I'm going to do the wheels as well so we can call them because they're extremely hard to clean on this Mustang and uh, we just have one more and we'll continue with the ceramic coating so we're going to get the sponge soft side down the logo needs to go up you get a microfiber coat and uh, uh, practically the logo needs to face down with the soft side down we're going to put in the bulk and uh, what I'm going to do now guys uh, in order to stay okay uh, let me see they send us one like a kind of like a credit card i'm going to grab that and just insert it okay in the crease right here so that way okay perfect it just stays here that way okay it's not going to go anywhere right it's more convenient that way get it tight not to have a slack okay practically we are there perfect that way okay it's one uniform layer shake it good i mean really good shake it like you mean it right now the temperature outside is about 15 degrees celsius so we need to wait about uh, two to three minutes before we buff it we're going to open the bottle remove the safety cap here okay and uh, what we're going to do next we're going to apply to the sponge generous amount the first time will be more than usual okay now let me go ahead you're going to start uh, the hood i usually do it in about four sections you want to make sure that you leave a nice uniform wet pad okay if it starts getting dry you need to apply more stuff to the sponge when you come in an angle you will be able to see go uh, first vertically and then we're going to go in that section uh, horizontally as well you just need to make sure that you go in cross pattern do not go in circles i'm going to do it in four sections that half uh, that corner of the hood is ready now i'm going to go uh, in corner sections and uh, this one we're going to go ahead okay and apply it this way horizontally now what we need to do now you're, we're going to give it because of the temperature about two to three minutes before we buff it out and i'll just continue doing that and when we get to the glass i'll explain how we're going to do the glass as well so right here okay you can see it looks amazing so let's go ahead uh, apply the rest of the hood and when we're ready to buff I'll explain what we need to do So it's been about three minutes. Uh, it looks a little bit kind of like it has soft uh, Spots kind of like greasy spots. So we're going to go ahead buff it with one side of the towel the initial buff of the whole hood 
and the whole area and then uh, what we're going to do we'll flip to the other side of the towel and give it a last buff but usually when I'm done with the vehicle at the end I go ahead okay and uh, buff it uh, again just because you can easily skip uh, skip here and there a little bit always make sure that you don't uh, skip applying actually the coating itself because uh, believe me you'll be able to tell later if, if it wasn't applied correctly to one spot so uh, flip it on the other side and then do another buff and we're going to go ahead okay now let me show you I don't know if I'll be able to but you kind of like see how it's a little bit foggy here it's greasy and then how shiny and clean looking it gets okay that's because of the ceramic coating you need to just buff it out okay and it's amazing guys okay it's so so wet looking it's i haven't seen that mustang so shiny to be honest with you so we're going to go ahead do that to the rest of the car we'll get to the windows explain how we're going to do that uh, the trim as well and we'll continue with the next step so we did the whole car guys okay we did the wheels as well uh, and uh, that will make cleaning the wheels a piece of cake because otherwise okay those wheels are really hard to maintain uh, what else we did right here on the inside of that mustang as well okay the door seals because uh, here you always accumulate dust and dirt and sometimes it's hard to clean but now okay it will be really easy now uh, check out guys the ground effects right here we applied it to that it looks fresh like brand new and those usually used to fade i have a bmw x4 that we actually restored the faded plastic trim and uh, six months later it's still like brand new right here okay i want to show you right here around the trim around the wipers wiper arms we did everything we did the window i want to show you i'm trying to get a reflection guys to see how shiny everything is practically it's it's amazing it's so smooth it's so shiny just uh, i fell in love with those products so so what we did guys we got a q-tip and we're doing the hose okay in the grill and uh, let me tell you it's simply okay amazing you can see how nice and clean it looks after that and uh, it will look black for a really long time we did the upper one as well and uh, it has that wet plastic look which you cannot replicate with anything that will last as long as the ceramic guys i used it on the bmw as i said and it lasts really really long time we parked it outside in the sun now for about uh, five hours it says in the sun and after it cures you can drive it guys but uh, we're going to let it uh, dry completely then we put it inside to make sure that it doesn't have any dew uh, and make it wet but practically it's amazing guys you can see the trim and everything it's so clean it's so beautiful uh, we prepare the bikes as well and I'm going to we're going to call our uh, bicycles because uh, uh, That thing will help them clean keep them clean when riding on the trails and stuff uh, Everything will wash really easy. Just don't apply on the shocks uh, for that stuff If you're using on a bicycle and stuff do not apply Okay, where the shock contacts right here or on the rear shock and don't apply to the braking surface of the rollers as well uh, other than that don't apply to the seat in my opinion just metal uh, components is what i would recommend uh, to do so uh, this in specifically in our case is carbon fiber so you can see guys the product is definitely something that i would recommend if you want to see where you can get it from i'll put the link in the description of the video below hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time